Hello YouTube, I'm Lachey, and so I haven't been back, haven't been on for a while. I know I said I was going to be back, I was going to do something the first week of March, but I've gotten a little taste sick, and when I gotten sick, um, it took a toll on me, and now I'm starting to realize the number one thing that Christian spirituality do not do enough is stay stress free. I'm one of them. I'm guilty. And I'm not going to lie to you. I try to stay as stress free as I can, but when you come from the state of California, it's kind of tough. And you move to a state that doesn't have what California offers. And no, no, no putting down the stake or nothing. Just saying, you know, when you run to. Um, their lakes out here is not that bad, but what we don't, we're not accustomed to is, um, <clears throat> more beauty to the lake, more beauty to the ocean, more beauty to the beaches, more beauty to the mountain, more beauty. I mean, even Arizona, oh, if anyone ever been to Arizona, that's paradise. Every time I go to Arizona, on the, um, traveling roads. I'm in paradise, and that's what I'm saying. Those things I'm missing because it helps me stay stress free. Out here, we don't have a lot of that. We have more of country, if I can say that. Yeah, I can say that out loud. Too much. It's a really like forest, like pine trees, you name it. So it's like, like I said, once again, I'm not putting down the state, just saying. <clears throat> That's why people have to get almost have to almost leave the state to another state that might offer things that you need to help stress help you help you maintain. But if you don't have the means to leave the state, then use your local park. Um, nature is also a healing and stress free comfort. Everyone needs it. You know, when I told you guys long t last year about the loss of my grandmother, I'm still paying that price. And then I'm now going through something that's been on, had been going on for a while. My mother has been really sick. And so I have not been taking it that well. And then now I got a stepmother that's not doing well as well. So, you know, you're just adding, it's just like, and that's what people need to understand. It's not easy to stay strong. When you got your most touchable ones that you look up to them and you depend on their advices and you depend on their comments to you and you depend on that all your life. And, whew, and children know how that feels. I don't care how old you are. You're, if you got a life of your mother, you feel me. You feel me. That's why I said I take it hard when it comes to my <clears throat> my mother and my stepmother. And you know it's funny, people, oh, you're just a stepmother. I don't even want to hear people tell me that. I'm such a loving person that I'll do anything for bondage in my way. That God sees it. And that's just how I am. And I know that people don't understand it, but hey, if you really saw me in person, you'd be like, oh, let's say, hey, girl, how you doing, blah, 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 trust me. And that's just the kind of person I am. I don't even go in the store mad. And you know, but my first week, oh my God, can I decline? <laughs> what is that? What is that guy's testimony? I'm already. I'm ready to go cry. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Anyway, the first week that my grandmother passed on. And actually, it wasn't even the first week. It was actually the last week of trying to get her a get well card. And it hit me hard. I was literally in tears in the card room. Saying... I don't need to worry about her getting a card. I know she's dying. 
can I accept? Can I accept her? Can I stop her being gone? So, and I'm not really um, been crying too much on her, but I do have my moments. I do have my moments. I go back to that. And then everybody got their moments. But you, this why says, no matter what it is, no matter what it is, you're grieving, somebody's uh, making you angry, or your kids wearing you out, or your husband, or your wife, or your partner's not giving you the support mission you need in your household for whatever the, the case might be, <clears throat> then you know you need to get stress-free. And remember I said, I said, open the door. Fuck it. Open the door and say, And but no one understands the heavy burden on you. Especially the mothers. The mothers. Woo! Do they have heavy burden when it comes to certain things in life? They deal with the kids. They deal with if they're married. They're dealing with the husband or the wives. They're dealing with uh, the mothers take care of so much and uh, it goes on. But the topic is about being stress free. The reason why I'm not signing today on this video clip is I've already did a deaf and hard of hearing, spiritual, stress-free topic for them. To those who like sign language or love sign language from me, you can watch that video. <clears throat> I'm just letting you guys know why, why I haven't been on because I've been, I have been stressed. I didn't think about it. But it, it, it got to me. It got to me. It was bad enough my mother had been sick. And all of a sudden, a week ago, my stepmother got in sick and I, I, I broke down. I said, oh my God. I, I said, I can't afford to go this route. It was, I said it was a tragedy last year. Dealing with all that I was dealing with. I had three cancer diagnosed that died last year that knew me and that was hard whether they were close to me or not I knew them in my in the way I the way they knew me they I knew them so I don't want to say that and I'm telling you it wasn't easy it was just like one thing after another one thing after another and one my my grieving situation. It might have been friends, close friends, best friends, or... Huh. I have a close cousin that also lost something that, oh... Uh, I was crying more than that girl was crying. I said, Lord Jesus, help me. <laughs> but anyway, it's very, very important. I can't tell you that it's easy to be stress-free when it comes to grieving because there ain't no such thing of that in in the eyes of grieving and trying to get comfort um, learning to accept the absence those are very hard things to do <clears throat> but I <clears throat> I am going to let my audience know I don't think you guys should be Fashioning a mother that lost any child to rush them. Get over it, get over it, get over it, get over it. How do you get over someone that has been shot? How do you get over that? That you have birthed in this world? How do you get over that? I want to know that. Nobody gets over that. How are you getting over that? Every time I hear my mom say, <clears throat> I asked her, I literally asked her before she got in this set. Don't you go to my brother's grave 
Oh, I haven't done that in a while. I asked her, why not? Oh, it's heartbreaking. That's the way it should be. You, I, I don't care what anybody says. They don't disagree with me. I don't have because you know what? Grieving is hard. And it's really hard when it's your blood that you birthed in this world. It is hard. And then on top of that, you want to be stress. And then when I say stress free, it could be a lot of ways. By the situation. I have been thrown with so many issues this year already. It ain't even the middle of the year. I ain't even gone to the fourth month yet. We only have the third month. People still throwing crap in my face. And I said to myself, you tried me. Try me. Try me one more time. Try me one more time. You bitches better get on out of my way. Because I'm about to whoop your ass. I'm getting tired of you. Getting tired of you. I have, a, I have somebody in my life that, whoo, I just feel like telling them, what part of English do you understand that I am not stupid? I know what you're doing. I am not a stupid spiritualist. I'm a strong one. You're not going to take me down with your wing because you couldn't get what you wanted back in your time. I don't play your sympathy. Don't you stand and stand in my lane thinking you're going to get away with murder. You need to get with it. It's getting old.